In terms of racism, there is no difference between apartheid South Africa and Zionist Israel. The Zionists, however, have the biggest weapon that was not available to South Africa apartheid. Bigger than F-16s, tanks, and nuclear missiles put together. It's called the Holocaust. The Holocaust allows Zionists to manipulate world public opinion and to stifle any possible open discussion. It is simply their biggest asset. Today, to be an anti-Zionist is construed as being anti-Semitic, and to be anti-Semitic can send you to prison in Europe. happening before our eyes and yet Israel gets away with it. How, how could that be? South Africa didn't get away with it. You know everybody's criticizing China for its oppression. How does Israel get away with it? And that's one of the real problems that we have. One reason is of course is because um, of the media that tries to be even-handed or pro-Israeli. Zionism has a credibility, the idea that Israel is a Jewish state has a credibility that apartheid never had in South Africa. Uh, Christians that are critical hesitate to speak out because they're afraid of being smeared as anti-Semites. So you find very little criticism of Israel in the media. Part of it is, of course, the fact that we're dealing with Jews. So the non-Jewish world feels guilty the Holocaust feels guilty about the Jew, Jewish issue and so on. It's used politically in a very effective way, in a very cynical way. I mean, it's very hard to say this, but I think it's true. It's seen as a very useful PR tool. You know, the way the, the government plays on, um, on the guilt in Europe over the Holocaust so that you can't criticize us. Look what you did to us, you see. It intimidates non-Jews. It closes up discussion. It's very effective, and Israel is willing for the sake of its PR and to silence critics, it's willing to sell the victims of the Holocaust. Israel is willing for the sake of its PR and to silence critics, it's willing to sell the victims of the Holocaust. It's willing to sell the victims of the Holocaust. The sad fact is that those six million Jews that died because of a fascist, racist ideology are cynically being used today to justify and support another fascist, racist ideology. As most of my family on both sides were amongst the victims of the Holocaust, I withdraw my permission from Israeli government and Zionist worldwide to use their death in such a hideous way. Interested to know what you can do about it? Insist that your government challenges Israel and its racist fascist ideology of Zionism. I made this documentary so none can say in the future, we didn't know. Now you know, so you can act. I also made this documentary because I have a huge debt to the Palestinians. One part of the debt is simply growing up in Israel. It sounds rather abstract to say, I grew up on someone else's land. It is more to the point to say, 
that I grew up in a block of flats in a suburb built on once beautiful olive and orange groves. I have no idea what happened to the owners of those groves. But if they are alive, they certainly live either in exile or in terrible conditions in a refugee camp. Another part of my debt is taking an active part in the occupation as a paratrooper and reserve soldier. In Israel, about 5% of the population serves as reserve soldiers. And except for the professional soldiers, they are the only Israelis who ever get to see firsthand what actually happens in the occupied territories. The rest of the Israelis see only army-controlled glimpses on television. Being part of that 5%, I saw occupation from close, and I will never take part in that again, even if it means going to prison for desertion. Zionism's main defense is not money, it is not military might, but a wall of propaganda lies. If one or two of the main bricks in this wall can be dislodged, the whole edifice might collapse faster than any of us might dare to imagine. Now to that I'll add these very last few words of my own. Let us recognize that our time has come. You've heard those words somewhere else, I think. Our time has come. Because the truth of history does make Zionism vulnerable. And that means that Zionism can be successfully challenged, checked and defeated. Thank you. We're going